हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक ऑफ जे एस पी दैट इज जावा सर्वर पेजेस वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द सर्वलेट टॉपिक ऑफ वेब इंजीनियरिंग एंड नाउ द सेकेंड सर्वर साइड प्रोग्रामिंग टेक्नोलॉजी दैट यू नीड टू स्टडी इन द वेब इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स इज जे एस पी नाउ जे एस पी इज द सर्वर साइड प्रोग्रामिंग टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इनेबल्स द क्रिएशन ऑफ डायनेमिक प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट method for building web based application so it is basically a web based application which is dynamic in nature and platform independent because it is based on java technology which itself is platform independent jsp is also platform independent it helps in building web pages that supports dynamic content since html pages are static uh, web pages so we need some dynamic uh, HTML pages for that JSP can be used. It provides dynamic content also. So what is JSP? JSP is Java code in an HTML page. So we can also say that JSP is equals to HTML plus Java code. So that is your JSP. in which the java code java code is embedded into the html now before going to see the jsp life cycle we have to understand one thing that in every jsp life cycle for every jsp page that jsp page needs to be converted into a servlet so uh, for this i have written here that the jsp life cycle <coughs> is similar to the servlet life cycle with an additional step and that additional step is compilation of compilation of jsp page into a servlet page so that is the additional step uh, from the servlet life cycle and by this step we mean that every jsp page <coughs> before running compile into a servlet page now let's see the life cycle of jsp so just like any uh, servlet life cycle jsp life cycle also contains a initialization phase the first phase in which the jsp page is initialized and we call this phase as initialization once the jsp page is initialized once the jsp page is initialized the second phase is the main logic second phase is the main logic where the service coming from the browsers are processed so this phase is your main logic and in this logic the service coming from the browsers are handled so we can say that the request that is coming from the browser is handled and response is created which is sent back to the browser or the client that is your main logic once the working of jsp is completed we have to destroy that jsp so we call that phase as shutdown phase this is the shutdown phase now there are different methods that are present in this life cycle in the initialization method in the initialization phase the method that is called is jsp init so this method is called in the initialization phase jsp init for the main logic the method is underscore jsp service so in the jsp service method the request is processed and the response is generated to destroy the java server page or the jsp the method that is used is jsp destroy
so these are the three main methods that you need to remember while attempting a question of jsp life cycle now let's see each of this phase in more detailed manner so as we have uh, seen in the previous slide that the jsp life cycle is exactly similar to the servlet life cycle with an additional step of jsp compilation so the first step that we are discussing in the jsp life cycle is jsp compilation now in this uh, phase whenever a browser ask for a jsp the jsp engine first checks to see whether it needs to compile the page or not now if the page has never been compiled or we can say that the page has never been compiled into a servlet then the jsp engine compiles the page okay so to run any jsp page first the compilation of jsp needs to be done into the servlet so the compilation process involves three main process three main steps first step is parsing the jsp now parsing the jsp means checking the syntax of jsp verifying all the uh, classes packages then turning the second step is turning the jsp into the servlet this is the th second step in which the jsp page is converted into the servlet or we can also say that it is being processed into a servlet once the servlet is created we need to compile that servlet that is the third step that compiling the servlet program once the servlet program is compiled the request coming from the browsers can be served with the help of this compiled servlet then the second phase is jsp initialization we have already seen so whenever a container loads a jsp page it invokes the jsp init method so whenever a container loads a jsp page the jsp init method is called before any before any service is before any request is served so before serving any request the jsp init methods needs to be called then jsp execution which is your main logic part this is the main logic part in this uh, uh, whenever a browser request a jsp and the page has been loaded and initialized then the jsp engine invokes the jsp engine invokes the underscore jsp service method now this jsp service method takes http servlet request and http servlet response parameters which are exactly same as the service method of servlet in which the service method call the do get and do post and we have seen that the same parameters are used over there and in this jsp execution also same http servlet request and http servlet response are used and these two uh, parameters are used to handle the request part this is used for handling the request part and this is used to serving the response back to the client or the browser so this is your jsp execution or the jsp main logic part once the work of jsp is done we have to clean up the jsp that is we have to call the destructor and this is removed with the help of jsp destroy method which we have already seen while we have seen the life cycle architecture program architecture so this method is used which is equivalent to the destroy method of servlet it is equivalent to the destroy method of servlets 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द जे एस पी लाइफ साइकिल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जे एस पी थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर सच टूटोरियल्स ऑन जे एस पी एंड अदर कंप्यूटर साइंस रिलेटेड सब्जेक्ट्स थैंक यू